might be the best fight of my life here. Definitely a Roman point, so you can see some more. Okay. Scene one, take thirty two. Hello, and welcome to True Vikings, episode three. Right here we had a really good introduction because we had uh, permission for a new field, a big one, and we were driving there, the sun was shining, it was a perfect day, and we started digging and we just started to find lots of lots of good stuff. And after that we were asked not to reveal the name of the location anymore. That's yeah. why we're doing the introduction again. Yeah, but it didn't matter in the end. Because when we were on the field, we didn't find any goblets, or nor the Philosopher's Stone. Mm -hmm. And we noticed that we had mispronounced the name to Hogwarts, so we had done our research pretty badly. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Yeah, so from now on, we will call the field Hogwarts. Yeah, maybe better that way, actually. Yeah. Alright. We hope you enjoy. Enjoy the show. Only 32 takes. Went well. I have been hunting here for 10 minutes, maybe. Yeah, something like that. We here from the car. Yeah. This is my first good find. It looks like an old silver coin. It is an old silver coin. And um, I think I can see a cross on the inside. It's pretty visible. So maybe a. Promising, looks really promising. We almost forgot our tradition because we were so excited. So excited about silver again. Yeah. And then do you remember tradition? Yalavina? Yalavina. Looks like you'll be coming home tonight. Cheers. Or then we stay here. Might be. <laughs> the pub is close by. So. Yeah. I'm jealous. I'm close to where I found the silver coin. It was somewhere right there. And Yael is over there trying his luck. And right now I have a new interesting find. There you go. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like a coin. And it is a coin. A big one. Let's see what it is. Okay, there's some kind of a man standing there. The coin. You can see his face and on the other side. Can't see that much, but looks like a penny. This is my first okay find. It's a 10 pence from 1992. Yay! I have only been finding buttons and belt buckles. 10 buttons. Not my day. It's Emil's day today. today. I got a pretty good signal here. A solid 76. We'll try to dig it up. I suspect it's some kind of coin. But we'll find out soon. About one hour into the hunt. And we found one silver coin. A big coin. And let's see what's up next. Somewhere here. Oh, what's that? It's not a coin, it's heavy. I don't know, it looks pretty old. Uh, probably not a button. It's strange, strange, strange rings going around it. It's very heavy. Probably br bronze, copper. But let's see. 
<laughs> nice find anyway. Here we have some English wildlife again. Bad day, all in all, for me. For you, but we have lots of nice patterns. We thought we would do a wrap up of the day. And uh, most oh. of our finds were buttons. That is my collection of buttons, and there is Yael's. Some nice ones, but nice and old buttons. Belt buckles. Belt buckles. I have some. My best find, at least in my opinion, today was the silver coin that's in very rough shape. I doubt we will be able to find out what it is, but... Yeah, here is the best one I have. I don't know, it says Britannia. Was it 1806? Uh -huh. it's, it's nice. Most interesting find for me, maybe, was the cannon. Small toy cannon. This one is also pretty nice. And this one also looks pretty old. Some kind of buckle, maybe. No. Musket ball. That's about that for today. I'm sad. I need a drink now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get one when we get home. Yeah, just drink and drive. That's right. Kids. <laughs> my first hole, I walk maybe 10, 20 meters on this field. Yeah. First find, Roman, once again. Is it? But I, I'm not sure about this coin yet, really. <laughs> we should ask our cameraman. <laughs> Osse! But then, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Yeah. We'll ask him. After Ossi, he's our historian also. So. He's, he's still in the car. It was definitely a Roman, Ossi said. Yeah, he did some research online and it looked Roman to him. Yeah. He had his books with him, so. <laughs> Third yeah. century, Yeah. he said. All right, but let's... Good find. Yeah, all right, let's continue. So, third pal for me, I found the Roman coin over there, then some crap over there, and now I'm here again with a coin. Looks like a Roman coin. We've been seeing this before. And now we thought we would take the time to introduce Ossi. He just arrived with the flight from Finland today. He had some important camera job there. And now he'll be joining us and be, will be with us with the, for the rest of the season. So, I'll say, want to say some words? No. No? Okay. He doesn't want to get filmed, apparently. Well, you'll stay in the background. I'll say, we'll be filming some, some of the time. Other times, he will be researching, checking out our finds. He has lots of books with him that he'll be reading. And we will pay him in beer, of course, for the information. Yeah. Back again. This time, one meter from the previous find a, a Roman coin or a piece of it has been cut and we'll be surely checking this area more carefully for yeah. the hidden heart. Yeah, Ossi said that it's definitely a Roman coin so you can see some markings on it. It's in Perhaps a not in the bad camera. shape. Yeah. And it started to rain a bit so we put on the cover so the quality might not be as good. Yeah, or the, the volume, volume, yeah. sound. Okay. Uh, in season two we will have the sound uh, sound guy with us also. <laughs> the sound so. guy will be joining us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> with the microphones, so it will be better. Yeah. This is just a test season. Yeah. Okay, so third Roman coin of the day yeah. and my fifth in total. Yeah. How many do you got? Six, maybe. Making Not up today. Numbers now. Not today. He got five. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I got more than him. <laughs> Half a minute later, Yael got his first Roman coin of the day. 
Yeah, it's definitely a Roman coin next to yeah. Emil's uh, other coin hard. Yeah, so I think we have something bigger here. Going Maybe on. a coin factory, perhaps. Yeah, a mint. Or, or then they had really bad pockets almost 2000 years ago yeah. in this area. Okay, this is getting exciting now. That field was such an amazing place. We have been looking there for a really short time and we already had five Roman coins. I've never seen five Roman coins in one such small place before. Well, actually, i never even seen Roman coins before I came to England. But there they were. We knew there has to be more. A pot buried somewhere with more coins. And I made a sketch about it. What was going through my head at that time. This is the surface up here. And I'm there looking for the coins, picking them up. And the tractor has been driving this way. And if there would be a pot of gold down here, the plow would have hit it and spread the coins in this direction. So we knew there was a pot of coins deeper down somewhere. We just had to figure out in which direction to look. And y'all come and help me. This could be the treasure. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at that. Think. Probably yeah. Celtic. A ancient or Celtic. Roman. Yeah. Looks like that. Yeah. Ossi needs to identify this. Yeah. We will take it to the museum. Definitely. A treasure. Yeah. We looked for a very long time there. But it just wasn't there. We couldn't find it. It's like in this hobby. It's the way she goes. Sometimes she's going, sometimes she's not. This time she wasn't going. We just had an interesting conversation with Ossi here. You have to go through what he said. Yeah, well, first he had done some studies on the area. Over there you can they have found some old crop circles that they t think is a Anglo-Saxon fortress, old yeah, Anglo-Saxon yeah. fortress. Yeah. It might be ancient aliens also. Ossi has know. been busy reading the books and checking online. Yeah. And then he told us that there's two roads from the from the fortress to the church and then to the house here. Yeah. But we tried to investigate this, but we didn't find any signs of the roads but we certainly have no evidence that the roads weren't there <laughs> yeah. that's right there, there might have been because Ossi is pretty good with yeah. these things and he said something about the Roman villa over there by the hedge so we're gonna go and check it out yeah Ossi is now back in the car taking some liquor <laughs> he's yeah. been drinking the whole day yeah. so it was, let's see he, he, he wasn't so good at with the maps today yeah, maybe they were upside down. I'm yeah. not sure. Okay, I dug up a coin again, and y'all seemed really happy over here. So let's go and see what they got. Hello. I had a really difficult signal. It was really deep. You can see that. About 25, 20 centimeters down. Yeah, yeah, but what is it? I found this. And that would be. It looks like an ancient Roman belt buckle, really? a piece of it. I'm, I'm not really sure. I have to ask Ossi later, but I was googling. Yeah, looks interesting. I was googling these pictures yesterday evening <laughs> about Roman belt buckles. And that's why we don't have girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> and this looks like one of them. Okay, Roman belt buckle in the pocket. Yeah. I was just thinking about this belt buckle I found. It's a really nice looking belt buckle. But it's not Roman. It's not a Roman belt buckle. It made me happy for a while. 
I had been looking at the pictures, but no. Sad again. And ladies, I'm still single. So if you want to keep updated with my relationship status, you should subscribe somewhere here. And if you haven't seen episode 1 yet of True Vikings, you should by clicking here. True Vikings. We allow belt buckles. <laughs>